Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is another video in the series of The Narcissist and Their Future Faking. If you haven't seen the first two videos in the series, Future Faking is when a narcissist will promise you something in the future to get their needs met in the present to bait you into the relationship, to bait you into their games, to suck you in, to give you that false hope that you're working towards something together, to sell you that illusion. A narcissist wants to, by future faking, manipulatively persuade you into believing in something that more often than not is never going to happen. And they do this to sell you an illusion, to get their own needs met. Future faking can happen at any point within a relationship with a narcissist. It can happen in the idolization stage, in the love bombing stage. It can happen in the devaluation stage. It can happen in the discard. If the narcissist isn't quite ready to discard you and it can happen in the hoover. This video is going to be about the narcissist future faking within the devaluation stage of the relationship. When it comes to the devaluation stage of a relationship with a narcissist, everything that they sold you in the idolization stage or almost everything they sold you is not going to happen. They might deliver on a few of their future fakes, a few of their false promises to give you that false sense of security. However, that wedding that you were once planning together is always six months away. Next year, when I've got this bonus, when we've achieved this, when we've done that, when we've done the other, but it's never actually done. That house move, again, is always going to be put off. They might have been stopping over now and again and before you know it, they've moved in with you without you even realising they've actually moved in with you, yet they're barely taking care of the bills. Instead, they're draining you financially. And when you begin to wake up to recognise what's happening, to realise that this isn't the relationship that you got into and no matter how much you give, all they do is take. No matter how much you try to make it work with them, it never seems to work out with them. There's always some form of issue. There's always some sort of problem. There's always some delay, some drama. And it seems that negativity just follows them around. Not only does it follow they, them around, they instill that negativity within you during the devaluation, you're being told that you're not capable, that you're not good enough, that mm, do you really think you can trust that friend of yours? They're wearing you out. They are exhausting you because the more exhausted they can get you, the easier it is for them to manipulate you. And this can be done subtly. They can just ask you to stay up later with them. Oh, you're not going to bed yet. I've, I've planned to watch this movie with us together. Why don't you stay up a while and watch this with me? They might wake you in the middle of the night. They might wake you early in the morning. They will go all out to drain you financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, so that it's easier for them to gain their control over your emotions because when you're drained your emotions are heightened you're far less in control of your emotions when you're not rested when you're ruminating about things you're far less in control of your emotions and therefore the narcissist can then chip away at these emotions and when they're chipping away at you like this it's easier for them to breadcrumb you it's easy for them to take you out for that meal. So you feel gratitude towards them for doing that for you. You feel that obligation that you need to be kind to them and need to do things for them because after all, they took you out for that meal that they promised to do last year and they've finally done it to, to breadcrumb you. Again, it's to manipulate you, to persuade you into thinking that they're not that's bad when in reality they are actually far worse. 
Because you're tired, because you're trained, a narcissist will go all out to blame you for being the problem. Being around a narcissist, you are the one that often ends up becoming very negative, very depressed, very anxious. So when they're calling these behaviours out within you, when you're feeling tired, when you're feeling sensitive, when you're overthinking situations and a narcissist is calling these out within you, you are the one that's left questioning yourself and not them which a narcissist plays on to their advantage because when they promise you something and don't deliver you that something and you call them out on that promise, they will then turn around and say, oh, well, if you hadn't, then I would have done this for you. Or if only you'd have done this, I would have done that for you. They will be blaming you during that devaluation. So you're the one that's left questioning whether you're enough for them not realising that they are devaluing you so they can feel better about who they are as a person and so that they can keep their control over you. Because if they can make you feel like you don't deserve any better, they don't have to treat you any better. If they can make you feel like no one else would ever want you, they can have their way with you. However, no matter how much a narcissist manipulates, most people at some point do start to wake up from the trance that a narcissist is putting them under. Most people do ask that many questions, perhaps not to the narcissist, but to themselves, that they start to think something isn't quite right. Even though because they haven't had the life experience, they haven't learned the life skills to recognise what isn't right. The instincts are telling them that something isn't quite right. So they might start to try and break away from that relationship, perhaps not knowing why, just knowing that they need to. And this is when a narcissist is going to come on full force with those future fakes to hoover you to stay within the relationship, to persuade you to give them another, another chance, to give you that false hope that if you just hold on a little bit longer, all will be okay. However, it's never okay. That that belief that if, if you just try something, it will be different. It will be back to how it should have been. Only the narcissist didn't sell you that should have been because of how it was going to be. They sold you that should have been to future fake to persuade you into the relationship with them so that they could exploit you to take what they wanted from you. When things don't add up, when you are around a narcissistic person, it's because the narcissist has left the truth out of the equation. So some future fakes a narcissist might use in the devaluation stage. If you were planning on getting your house together and you go and question them about this house, you're not questioning them, you're just wanting communication and a conversation. A narcissist takes this as you questioning them. If they don't go for the rage, if they don't go for the word salad, they are going to go for the future fake and they might come at you with something that sounds justifi justifiable, something that sounds rational, where they say, once we've paid off this loan, we'll start looking at these houses. Look, I've, I've found this one. Let's have a look at this one. We'll go and have a look around and get a feel for the place. And once we're in a better situation financially, we'll go and get that one. Again, to give you that belief that if you just hold on a little bit longer, all will be okay. However, it's never okay because as soon as they've paid off that loan, as soon as they've got that bonus, they find another excuse as to why it's not going to happen. So when they've let you down on something, when they promised to do something for you and then didn't do it for you, they might come at you with, I'll make up for it. I promise. I'll take you here next week. Let's go on a holiday somewhere. I'll pay, you choose. So that you think they're genuinely remorseful for whatever they've done because they're apparently going to make up for that promise they've broken on you and they're making up for that promise they've broken on you by making another promise to you, which is another promise in the future 
which they are faking to persuade you to give them another chance so that they can get their needs met in the present. And then when that future hits and that thing they promise to do with you, they don't do with you, it's those circular discussions. You go back to them and say, hey, you promised that we would do this. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I'll make it up to you. We'll go and do this next week. How does that sound? I was a little tied up with work. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, we can do it next week. Yes, I understand you've had a busy week. And then the next week comes, hey, we were going to do this tonight. Oh, I've had a really long day. I could really, I promise I'll make it up to you. Next month. And they're forever going to be on the horizon. These promises are going to be on the horizon that you can look forward to, that you can be excited about. But whenever you get to that horizon, the narcissist changes the game and they move further away from you so that they can get their needs met in the present by doing very little for you. They can promise the family a holiday. And then when you're looking at planning that holiday, they can say, oh, I didn't get that bonus. I promise we'll do it next year. However, you have an inkling of how much you earn. You have an inkling of how much they earn, yet they never seem to have the financial ability to provide the things that with the joint income you have coming in, you should both be able to provide for. And that's usually because, again, they've left the truth out of the equation. The sums don't add up because they're either gambling the money away somewhere or they're addicted to alcohol. They might be at the pub every night, which people can do and not be narcissistic and not have an alcohol problem. Some narcissistic people can be blowing more money. They can be on the bandits every single night there will be gambling they might tell you that they just have a flutter now and again but they're gambling a lot more which is often when they do get that win they go and treat you to something so you think oh everything's going to be okay but you don't realize the depth of the situation they are in and that you are win in with them which is another future fake in the devaluation stage when they come at you and say, can I borrow some money? I'll pay you back. And then when you need that money because they are draining you financially, so you need that money for bills or for groceries and you go and ask them, they will come at you and say, gaslight you and say, I paid you back last week. How can you not remember? Even though you know full well they didn't, they will drag you into that argument. When it comes to discussing things or having a conversation with a narcissistic person, they're going to create an argument. They're going to create conflict, chaos, absolute drama, and they are going to create more and more problems with you. When you have a conversation with somebody who cares about you, who's looking for the middle ground, the give and take, the compromise, you are going to be looking to find a solution to work together. A narcissist is going to get you to try and work together with them while you don't realise they're working against you. Or they're going to come at you and say, I'm a little bit short this week, I'll pay you back next week. I thought as a couple I wouldn't have to pay you back. You told me you'd given me that money, you didn't say it was a loan. And then when you find out they've hurt you in some way, they've cheated on you, they lied to you, and you find out they might go through all the word salad, they might deny, they might deflect, or they might come at you and say, I'll never hurt you again. And when a narcissist says, I'll never hurt you again, you can almost pretty much guarantee they're going to hurt you again. Once you forgive them, they believe they got away with it and they are going to hurt you again. And when they hurt you again, this is when they might come at you and say, I'll change. However, because you forgive them, they don't change. They just change back into who they are. They morph into a different person, all of which is who they are and all of which is to exploit you so that the narcissist can get their needs met by you. I'll get help. When a narcissist claims that they'll get help and they'll get therapy, they will claim they're going to go and get help, therapy, counselling. They're going to claim that they need you to support them so that you feel 
you feel sympathetic towards them, you care about them, so you want to help them and they're going to play on that kindness to exploit you all the more. They're not going to seek the help and the support, the support. They'll come up with lots of different rational excuses from they haven't found the time or they might be feeling embarrassed so that you can almost relate to them. And what you don't realise is they're distracting you from the truth that they see no need to change. They just see a need to manipulate. They see a need to lie to you differently so that they can get their own needs met. There are many phrases a narcissist will use to future fake within the devaluation stage of a relationship. And they will offer those intermittent reward punish where they play nice and when they're getting what they want from you and then they turn nasty and blame you when they're not and then they play nice again. They will breadcrumb you by delivering you little bits, those little crumbs of hope and then once they've breadcrumbed you back in, they begin to ignore you all over again. They break all the promises on you all over again. If anyone has any future fakes that they heard, please do add those into the comments for anyone reading through. Thank you very much for listening. Remember, when dealing with especially narcissistic people, listen to your instincts. Listen to yourself. Don't go to those who, when you go to them, they leave you further frustrated. They leave you further confused. They leave you in despair. They leave you heartbroken because those people lack the empathy to care for how you're feeling. Don't go to those who blame you for everything they go wrong. Avoid those who make you feel responsible for everything that they do wrong and listen to your instincts. It's easy to recognise the red flags once we know what those red flags are. Before we've lived them, we seldom know them. If you are looking for further support, I have got the Break Free from Narcissistic Abuse course, which is a false full course on how to go no contact, how to do grey rock, what types of narcissistic people they are, the criteria, their behaviour, how to change your mindset, narcissistic family, anxiety, trauma bond, it covers everything and that will be in the description. I have also partnered with BetterHelp which and their sponsored link will also be in the description if you'd like to take a look at those. Thank you very much for listening. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.